Well, I didn't get my big canvas today, so um, I had nothing new to start. But I started looking through a few paintings that I've had around the house for a while that I knew they had something, but I wasn't happy quite with how things had worked out. But I came across this one. I've had this one, I don't know, five, six years. And um, I wasn't happy with it. It wasn't good enough. Uh, I wasn't comfortable with putting, out, putting it out to a gallery, but at the same time, I felt that it had something, and, and I thought that at some point in the future I would work on it. So I put it away. I forgot about it. It's been forgotten for years. Uh, tonight I came across it, and I actually began to work on it because I thought, you know, I think I'd, I'd like to, I think I could turn this into something. So what I really had here was, or what I have as you can see, um, the biggest problem lays up here. But I have I put a lot of work into this area, and I really liked how sort of the frame of, of the main area, of, the, fo of the, 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 the focal area, turned out, or would turn out. <coughs> the framing of it was good, but this was a bit disorganized. You know, we have a bunch of little maggots looking for sunlight or something. It's just, it's just kind of a mess. So I'm going to organize this a little bit uh, more clearly so that foreground congeals and these these you know what are sort of waves across the water very jagged in the shadow of, 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 of what will be a mountainside or a hillside here I'm going to shorten them up round them off a little bit but I think my biggest issue was I have too much information given the style in which I paint on a small canvas. I need to simplify it. So, I have this sort of pinkish light sky, you know, with, with a dark area, and then distant hills, and then closer hills, and a closer bluff, and a dark, uh, uh, you know, sort of, mountainside here and rocks there's so much information in here if i'm going to put that information in there it either has to be a painting it would suit maybe realism but i'm not a realist i'm completely unreal so for an impressionist i had to simplify things so what i'm going to do i believe is this guy is i'm not going to have this much light up here it's too distracting from what will be sort of the focal area I think I'm going to gray this guy down. Look at this high chroma and high value I have on, on, on a distant hill, adjacent to uh, a higher chroma water going into the blues, which is more distant than the water uh, in the, in the uh, middle foreground, or the midground, which is actually mid-value and very low chroma. So that was a mistake. So this bright yellow against this bright blue, two very complementary colors, too much strength, too far away from where my area of interest will be. That's one thing. This land mass, it, what it, it lays on here, like, like it's floating. There's, it's, it doesn't feel anchored. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like a land mass. Um, so, and I think, again, I've gone with too much detail. I, I may just remove completely this area. It may just all be water going off into the distance. I may shorten this hillside. I'm certainly going to darken this hillside here. This is just a distracting mess. It's out of tune with the rest of the painting. And it's up to me to solve that problem. Uh, I have nothing else to do tonight, so I think I'll work on it. I'm not promising to show you this uh, tomorrow in its completed form. Uh, I'm not going to take you along with me while I play with it tonight. But I just wanted to show you these, these obvious problems that I've created for myself in this painting. You know, 
high value, high value, high value, high chroma, high chroma, high value. It's kind of all over the place. The drawing, as a drawing, would have been a good drawing. I messed it up when I went to the paint. So, uh, we'll see where it goes. But uh, it's kind of, uh, I would call this painting immature. Um, so I'm going to try to make it into more of a mature painting. In so doing, I'm going to simplify things. Uh, that's it for now. <laughs> Talk to you later. Oh yeah, I forgot to come to a point. The point is, in this painting, this is the area that matters. I should not have distracted with this high chroma, high value. I should not have put such high value up here. I should have concentrated all of that in this area. And on top of that, I should have painted this well. If this is my focal area, I should at least do a good job of that. I did not. We'll see what happens with that. Anyway, focus here. Everything else is supportive. Now I'm